Welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to be start our object oriented programming concept section in Java. Before starting the Java object oriented programming we just need to know why we choose the object oriented programming. Suppose that you want to assemble your PC. You go to the hardware store and pick up a motherboard, a processor, some RAM and hard drive and a cache power supply and put them together. You turn on your PC and the PC works. You need no worry whether the CPU is a 1 core or 6 core. Motherboards have 4 layers or 6 layers and the hard drive have 4 plates or 6 plates. And you don't worry about the modem, uh, sorry, the RAM is made in Japan or made in Korea and so on. You just simply put the hardware components together and expect the machine is to run. Of course, you have to make sure that you have the correct interface. Example, you need to pick a IDE hard drive rather than SSD hard drive. If you are motherboard support only IDE, you have to select the RAM with the correct speed rating and so on. It is not difficult to set up a machine from a hardware component. Similarly, a car is assembled from a parts and a component such as they have the doors, they have the engines, wheel, brake and transmission. The components are reusable. Example, a wheel can be used in many cars of the same specification. Hardware such as a computers and the cars are assembled from the parts which are reusable hardware components. How about the software? You can assemble a software application by picking a routine here, a routine there uh, and expect the program to run. The answer is obviously no. Unlike hardware, it is very difficult to assemble an application from the software components. Since the advent of the computer 70 years ago, we have written tons and tons of programs and routines. However, for each new application, we have to reinvent the wheels and write the program from a sketch. Why reinvent the wheels? Why rewrite the codes? You can write the better code, then use the code written by expert. So here we use the object oriented programming concept because they have the reusability concepts. We can use code rather than one time, two times, three times and four times. What is the traditional procedure of object oriented programming languages? Traditional procedure of object oriented programming language such as C, Fortran, COBOL and the Pascal suffers some no table drawback in creating the reusable software components. The procedural object oriented programs are made up of functions functions are less reusable. It is very difficult to copy a function from one program and reuse in another program because the function is likely the likely to reference the global variable and other functions in the global world. Functions are not well encapsulated as a self-contained reusable unit. The procedural languages are not suitable of high level abstraction for solving the real life problem for example the c program uses constructs such as if else for loops array methods and the pointers which are low level and hard to abstract the real program problems such as a customer relationship means crm system or a computer score game the traditional procedural language separate the data structure variables and algorithms functions. Now we just see the object oriented programming languages. The object oriented programming languages are designed to overcome these problems. The basic unit of object oriented programming is a class which encapsulate both the static properties and dynamic operations within a box and specify the public interface for using these boxes since class are well encapsulated it is easier to reuse these classes in the world in the other world oops combines the data structure and algorithm of a software entity inside the same box oop language 
paramount high level of abstractions for solving their real life problems the traditional or a procedural languages such as c or a pascal force you to think in the term of a structure of the computer example memory in bytes and the array decision and the loops rather than thinking in the term of the problems you are trying to solve the oop language such as java c++ and c sharp let you think in the problem space and use software object to represent and abstract the entities of the problem space to solve the problem as an example suppose you wish to write a computer scorer game which i consider as a complex application it is quite difficult to model the game in the procedural object languages but using oop language you can easily model the program accordingly to the real things appear in the scorer game player attributes including the name numbers location in the field and abstractor operations including run jump kick the ball and abstractor and we have the ball reference field audience and the weather most importantly some of these classes such as a ball and a audience can be reused in another application for example computer basketball game with little or no modification so now what are the benefits of the object oriented programming languages the procedural object oriented programming languages focus on procedures with functions as a basic unit you need to first configure all or out all the functions and then think about how to represent the data the object oriented languages focus on the compo components that the user perceives with objects as the basic unit you figure out all the objects by putting all the data and operations that describe the user interaction with the data the object oriented technology has a many many benefits is in the software design and you should think in the problem space rather than the machine bytes and the bits you are dealing with high level concept and abstractions is in in the de uh, design leads to more productive software development is in the software maintenance object oriented software are easier to understand therefore easier to test debug and maintain reusable software you don't need to keep reinventing the wheels and rewrite the same function for different situations the first and the say fast way of developing a new application is to reuse existing code full tested and prone codes if we are talking about the object in our oriented programming language so let's see what is the object here so the object here is a car pen table keyboard bike etc so the proper example of the object is any entity that has a state and the behavior is known as an object it can be physical or logical now we just see the example of an object how to initialize an object here i just write a public class object so it's better to create one other class with the name of class and dog is an object here so dog dot java so there is a class which is dog and now i just declare the class here and then instance variable i just creating the instance variable so a string so dog name then a string breed 
than integer so we just always take the age in the integer and then a string what is the top color okay now we just construct we just declare the constructor of the class so public and dog and then here I just write a string which is name and then a string which is breed integer sorry it's a comma and integer which is age and a string which is color okay and then here I just write this dot game uh, sorry this dot name which is equal to name then this dot breed which is equal to breed then this dot age which is equal to age and at the last this dot color which is equal to color okay so these are the constructor declaration of the class now we just see the methods so method number one public is string here I just create a method which is the get dog name so I just write get name here and then what is the return so it will return us which is name okay then method number two so method number two here is public a string and get breed okay so here I just write return and which is breed so it's a get breed here okay now after that I just go to the method number three so public so here is a public a string and it will get the age here okay so this is the method number three and the method number four so it will return age okay then afterwards I just write public a string and here I just write so this is not the string here because it's age so it is integer public int and then age so a string and a string is a color here so this is method number four and it will return color okay now so this is the method name which is get color okay and here the method so afterwards I just go to the override function so a string and to a string okay and then I just write a return and return here is hi my name is and plus here and here is write this dot get name and then here is write plus and then sorry it's a plus and then I just write slash and for the single line break and my breed and age and color are okay and I just write plus this dot get breed and plus comma here and then plus this dot get age plus comma here and then plus this dot get color okay and then close this code here now after that this I just write public static void main and then 
string and arguments then here I just write dog and dog is Tuffy here which is equal to new and dog okay and then here is right Tuffy and then the dog name is Tuffy here and then the breed is Papillon and it's a Papillon and then it has the age of 5 and the color here is white okay and I just close this code and I just print my this function to print screen dot print line and then Tuffy dot to a string okay and I just close this code here now I just execute this code so okay and we have the error here which is line number 28 and the which is get breed so here it's a b is a capital here so now i just check so you can see hi my name is tuffy my breed age and color are papillon 5 and white so as I declare the variable like type name here so this notify the compiler that we will use the name to the refer to data those type in type with a parameter variable this declaration also res reverse the proper amount of memory of a variable so for a uh, so far reference variable type must be strictly a concrete class name in the journal we cannot create an object of a abstract class or an a reference interface the object dog tuffy if we declare the reference variable tuffy like in our this example its value will be undetermined means it's null value until an object is actually created a and assigned to it simply declaration a reference variable does not create an object so this is a example of initialization of an object in java thanks for watching this lecture see you in next lecture